How's it going today, guys? Well, today's the first day I'm going to start recording. Um, if you follow my Instagram, the Chicago Bottle, Bottle Digger, um, I post a lot of finds on there, and I eventually said I was going to start recording some of them. So, I've never recorded anything like this before, so bear with me. Uh, the videos should get better as we go, but we're in a dump today that's anywhere from 1890s to about 1920. So we'll probably find some good stuff. So I'm not going to record the whole thing starting out. Um, I'm just going to start recording highlights of it and the, some of the better stuff I find. Uh, I'll do some live feeds eventually down the road. Um, but I'll, you'll be in the hole with me digging and we'll be pulling bottles out together. So stay tuned. Well, I think I have the first bottle that I think is worth recording. So I don't know what it is. It looks like some type of med. We'll see what it is. Oh, there's some blessing. There is. Let's see what it is. Classic. Dr. Price's Delicious Flavoring Extract. Cool bottle. I've got a few at home. Well, there you go. That's the first one of the day. Well, I've got two down in the hole that I'm working on. Let's we'll see if we can do this together. Looks like it's another med of some sort. Maybe, hopefully it's embossed. Let's see if we can get this one. Just a, ge a generic, probably a paper label on the back of it at one point, but it's still kind of cool. I've got a bunch. I usually don't keep these, but they're pretty common. Another common bottle. Just a med. Got some numeric value. We'll probably just put it in the pile. All right, stay tuned. Well back again and I think we may have our first soda or beer it's a nice aqua color hopefully it's intact cool I don't think there's any embossing on it let's see though got some in the bottom Fluid ounces. Oh. Eh, not worth it. worth anything. But I guess kind of cool. Well, fluid ounces. After 1903. Let's see. Machine made. Man, it is hot. Got another one ready out of the hole. Let's see what it is. Looks something like an old med of some sort. The mother's friend. Atlanta, California. Something Bradfield Relco. Assuming it's some type of uh, like a mite all or a uh, painkiller. I'm not really exactly sure, but we'll look it up when we get home. Probably fairly common. All right, one of the cooler ones we found today starting to get a little bit better so I'll keep going do this Let me see our boot. a lot of roots here but I've been caving in this hole a little bit to widen it out and this fell out I'm not sure what it is like maybe a, some type of lid to maybe a candy dish maybe a depression glass I don't know 
It's really cool and looks pretty cleaned up. I hope I could find maybe the jar that's with it or dish or whatever it is. It doesn't look damaged to, at all actually. So, ah, there's a little glass crack, but we'll be careful with it. Stay tuned. Got something else in the hole. I'm pretty sure I know what it is already. Yep. Nice old Vaseline bottle. Little jar. New York. Very common. Find a bunch of these, but still kind of cool. All right, we'll be back. Kind of see that there. I don't know. Let's see if it's ready to come out. Oh, story or something. Well, whatever it is, it's unembossed. And it is post-1903. It's got a seam all the way up. Paper label. Stay tuned. Well, we got something else in the hole. Cobalt. That's probably a bromo or a poison. We'll go with that's definitely a bromo. Cool. I always, they're common, but I always take them home. I just enjoy the cobalt colors. Is, and I think many other people do it also. So stay tuned. We'll keep digging. Okay, guys. Just wanted to do a brief wrap-up of what I found today. This is not even close to all the bottles that we found. I probably found over 30. Most of them are just unembossed ketchups a few local milks this is some of the stuff that i thought to keep you know others keep things that i really don't want to keep because i have a lot in my collection and you know i <laughs> in my house currently it's it's not, we're starting to run out of room so we'll just go through with what i found and uh hope you enjoyed the video so just a typical glass stopper you know nothing really special Thought it was cool I keep a bunch of them and then uh, Liam Parham's Worcester sauce so, did not find the top of that one and then, you see right here Dr. Price this is delicious flavored extract you know decent bottle I've got a few of them pretty common also and I personally think this is the best find. I know it's pretty common, but I don't, I've never found one so far. So the mother's friend, and I, excuse me, Bradfield Regal and Co. And that was not California, Atlanta, Georgia. So kind of neat to see this up in Chicago. Just a unembossed, blown in the mold. Could be a whatever it is I'm not even really sure nice jar lids got a little crack in it Jay Hungerford and Smith and Co Rochester New York and some milk glass this one in particular says let's see if you can read it Mums Manufacturing Go Philadelphia Pennsylvania uh, just a nice milk glass lid I thought was kind of cool Last thing is, I'm not sure what this is. Could be a candy jar lid, just a jar to the flower lid. It's just I like the design on it and figure I'd keep it. It does have that crack, but hey, it cleaned up pretty nice. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, follow my Instagram, the Chicago Bottle Digger, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.